The Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers and Geekers? Chris, the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? This is a, a it's kind of a sad state of affairs, and I know. Uh, I know my area isn't the only one that's experiencing nonsense like this, but what we have here is our local Sears, or at least what fucking used to be our local Sears. So, you know, I was cruising around, and um, on my way home, I had to stop by here, and, and you know what? Give a small fitting tribute to this Sears here. Now, when I was growing up, there was a strip mall here. Uh, right now, there's an actual fucking mall built up around it. Uh, but this Sears has always been here, and there was a service merchandise far into the parking lot. This Sears was a two-floor Sears. It was a standalone building. Again, there was like a like a one-level kind of plaza behind it. They destroyed all of that and built an actual mall in its place. And Sears here became one of its anchor stores um, for reasons that you can speculate on your own. Sears has been going out of business, and it's pretty sad because. Sears were the pioneers of everything. I mean, the Sears catalog going all the way back to the beginning. You could buy anything. You could buy a fucking house, car, anything. A pair of pants, dildos, whatever you, whatever it is you fancy, you could buy it through the Sears catalog. And when the internet came out, had Sears gripped onto it and revolutionized the online purchasing uh, experience, much like they did with the uh, catalogs, uh, maybe before Amazon had they probably could still be in existence right now. But sadly enough, um, this is not the only place around here in this country where stuff like this is happening. And the reason it's so significant to talk about this one in particular is because this is where the creep got all of his Atari stuff. Uh, first floor was uh, clothing, uh, stuff like you know perfumes and makeup, and then a whole section of nothing but hardware, like craftsman shit. Upstairs was where all the electronics, uh, the music, you know, cassettes and records and all that stuff. Uh, then later, of course, CDs, uh, pots and pans, shit like that. But more importantly, that's where the video game section was. And I can very distinctly remember uh, seeing the black boxes, the Sears Telegames boxes. Of course, displayed a lot more prominently than actual Atari branded stuff. And um, drooling over every little bit of it. And I guarantee you, this is exactly where my Sears Telegames, my Heavy Sixer came from, and the handful of games that I had for it. And mainly because my parents had a Sears card. We didn't have the money to drop on something big like that. Uh, so they just, they charged it, you know. But I thought, I thought since I was driving by, and there's a Burger King over here I may or may not go to. I'm not supposed to eat that shit right now. But I'm hungry, and I don't give a fuck. Um, I thought I would come by and just, just say a word or two about my Sears. And it's gone. It's, uh, it's all gone. <laughs> but you know what? All things come to an end, right? So let me know. Let me know down in the comments below if there's any local department stores or anything like this um, th that you see going out or have gone out. It's part of your history, as far as uh, in my case, it was music, clothing, <laughs> and um, video games. It sucks. It sucks, but it is what it is. You know, times. Times change, and uh, so do we. Guys, thank you always so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, go ahead and leave your feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all feedback to the Creep is Positive. And until next time, hope you're doing well. Take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye. Rest in peace, Sears. I'm going to fucking miss you.